Hey guys, what's up? Nikhil here from Top Motions and welcome to this brand new tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create a cool pop-up motion graphics logo reveal into After Effects. So first of all, I'll just show you what we're gonna be creating today. Yep, so looks cool. You can see I've used this strokes to cre create this cool type of effects and they look pretty good you know so let's just get started first of all create a new composition I like to keep it 1920 1080 30 frames okay then what we're gonna do is first of all go right here and we have to click on this title action save so this brings up this borders or we can call it guides so that we can be more precise you know so just the, let's just hit on this eclipse tool and I'll just go in the center and I'm gonna hold I'm gonna click and drag first then you can see it it's not coming out from the center so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ho hold alt control shift now what this does is it brings this up from the center right there and I'll just keep it maybe a little big maybe right there okay looks cool so now we don't need the fill so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna uncheck the fill and I'm gonna increase the stroke maybe right there looks pretty good now we don't need to worry about the color we can change it later so yep and then I'm gonna go and close this up so let's just quickly create a background a simple background go to new solid I'll keep it white yep just drag this below so that we can see it so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it and go to add and add trim parts right here bring down the trim part properties and now what I'm gonna do is I'll just make some room right here this is good about five frames and now you can see as I move this end properties you start to get this cool effect right here so now I'm gonna go to zero hit on the stopwatch then I'll go to maybe let's see one second and I'll bring this one all the way up then I'm gonna go to maybe Let's see 10 frames. Go on the start stopwatch. Then I'll go to maybe 2 seconds and bring this up to right about 100. So now what we have is this cool circular thing going on right here. Yep, so looks pretty cool. I'll just select it, right click, go to keyframe assistant and easy ease it. So now it gets pretty cool. Now you can do this by pressing F9 also, but you know I did it so yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly add an effect called drop shadow. I use this effect a lot actually. It gives uh, it gives a cool type of shadow right here. You can see maybe yep, you see this now. I just change the color of the shape so that you can see it more properly. Let's just give it red. Yep, get there and I'll just increase it a little. And maybe right there, yep. Yep, looks good, I guess. I'll just get it up to 100, yeah. So, looks pretty good. So far, so good. So, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and duplicate it maybe three times, yes. And I'll just select the second layer, hit bring down the scale properties, hit S to bring down the scale properties, and I'll just make it a little small. Now, I'll just change the color so that you can see it more properly. And then I'm gonna select the top layer, head to bring down the scale and make it more small right here. And let's just change the color maybe and orange looks good. Yep, looks good. So now we have this three going on right here. You can see looks pretty good. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna displace them so I'll just bring each circle maybe a one or two frame backwards so that we get this make this a little intricate you know right there looks pretty good now I just bring this orange a little more back and this also a little more back and right there yep I guess it looks pretty good see right here looks pretty good so now to make it more intricate what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Select this green layer, 
control D and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down the strokes now you, I know you can't see it more properly so I'll just change the color again maybe right there and I'm gonna bring down the strokes to maybe let's keep it at 8 looks pretty good then again I'm gonna select the red layer control D to duplicate it now you can also name these layers to be more precise so I just go right there and make this maybe a green and just bring down this right there maybe oh, a little bit yep looks good so now you can see we get this cool and intricate circles right here now I wanna displace it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this layer maybe I'll put it, put it a little back than the green layer and maybe a little there so now we get this displacement looks pretty good you can see right here creates a cool effect right there so now to make it more integrate integrate sorry what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this orange layer and go to effects and type in the lines when it in blinds yep we need this and I'll just increase this so now you can see we get this cool effect right here looks pretty good and yep I'll just move this maybe a little right there looks good and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to let's see this green stroke right here and I'm gonna bring down these properties go to con contents go to eclipse and go to strokes and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this line cap mode from butt cap to rounded cap and then I'm gonna you see these dashes I'm gonna click on this plus sign so it will give us cool dashes right there now it's a little hard to see so I'll just increase it maybe right there yep looks good I think I'll keep it butt cap only maybe it looks a little more intricate and good so now you can see you can create this cool type of effect right there so I'll just keep it maybe right there I think it will look good yep looks good and what we can do is I can again click on this plus sign so it gives us a one more option called gap so now you can increase and play with the gaps right there looks pretty good so I'll just keep it right there so it looks more realistic good I'll change the color so maybe it will look more cool maybe I'll just make it a little let's see I'll just make it a little bluish yeah this looks good yep so half way through now we have to work with the logo pop-up so now what I'm gonna do is I'll just come to where it gets just starts so maybe right there let's let's go to 15 frames and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this eclipse to on the shape layer do the same thing again drag it oh sorry I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to go to layer new shape layer and now I'm gonna select this eclipse to go right there and drag it right here hold alt shift and control yep looks good so now what I'm gonna do is you can see we get this cool circle I'll just change the color again and I don't want the strokes in this so I'll just bring down the strokes and I'm gonna select the fill and bring up the fill yep looks good I'll just change the color maybe now you can keep whatever color you want your combinations of color depends on your creativity and stuff so I'm just roughly choosing colors right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do I'll just go to maybe 15 frames and select I'll just name it so that you come to know actually I should have named it from the start but I just forgot so I'm sorry for that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit on scale and bring down the scale properties and now what I'm gonna do is I'll just bring it down to zero hit on the stopwatch go to maybe right about one second let's see one second yep and bring this up to 110 and then go a few frames forward maybe right there and make it 100 so now what this does is gives us the cool pop-up effect you can see right here looks pretty cool yep so far so good so now what I'm gonna do is I'll just pre-compose this so that we get a room to create some cool stuff so I'll just name it 
stroke okay so now we have now it's a little bit easy to use things so yep so let's just go right here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go where the strokes get finishes right here and I'm gonna add an effect actually I'm gonna go to add an effect the trim part the same thing and now you can see as I move this end properties you can give, give you get this sorry you get this cool type of effect right here so let's just set on the stopwatch go to about right here and I'll just make this down to zero yep so we get this cool slice effect right here so I just now quickly go and add drop shadow to it Let's skip whatever the basic is. I'll just make the distance to maybe about eight and softness to maybe about eight. Yep, looks good now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this two times. Yep. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna displace these things now. So I'll just change the color so that you can see it more properly. Go right about there and I'll just change this color. Let's make it green or something. Skip right there. So now you can see what we have is this cool slice effect right here. So now one more thing what we have to keep in mind is I'll just go to about two seconds and we have to cut this bottom two layers. So select this two layers and hold alt and close bracket now it's important so that so now you can see we get this this problem right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these two layers first layer and delete the drop shadow from here so now we no more have this problem right here yep so it looks good so now the last thing is to put a logo in it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a logo pretty quick right here yep and I'll just drag this in maybe right there just scale it down make sure it fits under the circle right here looks good and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this logo beneath the top layer so or maybe beneath the two top layers so now it gives us the effect as if it was under this layer so you can see I can also put this right there so it gives us more intricate effect you can see right there and I'm gonna go come right here and do the same thing Alt close bracket and we are done you can see we get this cool motion graphics effect oh sorry my mistake I just by mistakenly cut the circle I am very sorry for that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the logo and cut it I'm really sorry for that yep so we get this cool logo reveal right here so I hope you learned something new today from my tutorial and I'm sorry for some mistakes in the between but I promise you guys it, it won't have happen again so I think it was a pretty good tutorial and throughout the way I guess you have learned some cool tips and tricks throughout the tutorial so thanks for watching guys and see you in my next tutorial.